I am humbled and honored to be able to introduce to some and present to others Wilbur Browning Sr. He's a senior pastor at Centennial Olivet Baptist Church. This man of God is saved by grace and he shepherds by the word. And to God be the glory, I call him friend. Dr. Browning has blessed my heart. Even as we grew up, I remember him being such a sweet, sweet spirit. And now a sold out man of God, I enjoy every time I get to talk to him. I hope you enjoy our dialogue. All right now. Welcome to a healthy heart. Healthy heart is on location. <laughs> Look We're at God. Location. We're on location. I'm here with a pastor friend, with a friend, and then later on in life, I found out he was a pastor. Mm. Then he's a doctor. Mm. Look at God. Won't he do it? <laughs> he will. Won't he, Willie? He will do Ooh, it. And we paid Zoom for the whole year so we can talk however long we want to. <laughs> okay. But I welcome you to Healthy Heart. And I asked Pastor Brownie if he would um, share something about his faith or how God is given him his faith walk and any favor the Lord has bestowed upon him. But first, I've got to share, mm. and I believe um, in documenting and thanking, because when those lepers, I think one came back and said, thank you, <laughs> I gotta say thank you. This man of God has helped me more than he could ever imagine. Mm. At the beginning of Healthy Heart, he came on, he chatted with me, he listened, and he does that real well, y'all. Y'all got to come check his church out. He does that, mm -hmm, and he listens with an attentive ear and gives you godly counsel. So after we chatted, I'm sitting on the porch, and I'm fussing at kids and grandkids and kids in general. And this man, a guy, you hear his voice. He says so calmly, he said, well, Charlene, you know it's not all their fault. And I felt like saying, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> and I said, hmm. And he said that it's our fault that Joel 1 and 3, that we've got to tell the young people, how can we expect this and that if we haven't shared? You probably don't even remember that. Well, I, I, I was on the front porch. I was fussing <laughs> up a storm, <laughs> just fussing. And so that gave me food for thought. And then, I think it was this year, I saw something was going on at the church. It was friends and family. I can talk about this if I want to. Mm -hmm. It was friends and family day. And I thought, I'm going to go see my friend. And I'm going to tell him my opinion about some things. And I'm going to... <laughs> this man of God, he listened to me so patiently. And I told him where I was going visiting. And he said, which made a world of a difference at that ministry, he said, make sure that you don't compromise and you make sure you stand up for righteousness and don't forget communion. And you, you laid it out. Now to God be the glory, the rest of the story we won't even, but it's because you were bold <laughs> enough to share. And then this man of God, I'm gonna tell him how he needs to not let people get on his last nerve. I mean, I'm probably at the neck <laughs> popping. And this man of God shared with me his position. And not only did he share he sent me a text showing me his calling, and it was a joy for him. You, you, I don't know if you remember that. I don't. Oh, my God. Look, <laughs> won't he do it? If he does it for me, he'll do it for you. So he explained to me, because I'm like, man, I don't want to, and man, and he said, no, I, I enjoy. This is my job. It brings me joy. And I was like, wow. So I had to call him to see if he would share this fifth season of faith and favor on healthy heart. So I'm gonna ask him to introduce himself and I thank you so much. And I can call him and he can hear me. Mm -hmm. And mm, he can hear me and give me godly advice. Mm. Okay, to God be the glory. Mm. So Pastor Reverend Brother Friend, Dr. Man, will you give your name and anything, however you're led? Okay. I am Wilbur Browning Sr. Uh, I pastor Centennial Olivet Baptist Church. Uh, we are 153 years old uh, in this community. Uh, it is my privilege, it is my blessing, it's my honor to be able to shepherd these people uh, as God give me oversight over them. And it's been a pleasure to, to mm -hmm. share with my good friend uh, Y'all call her Cha, I call her Charlene, <laughs> and we, we 
go way, way, way back. We do. Grew up in the same neighborhood together, and I, I've just been blessed by what I've seen God do in her life and, and continues to do in her life. She's full of energy, <laughs> but more than that, she's full of heart, and I Thank bless you, God Jesus. for that. I, every time I tune in to, to Healthy Heart, I'm always blessed by mm -hmm. what God is doing through her, and so... I count this a privilege to be able to share again uh, what, uh, what God is doing here uh, in my life as well as the life of Centennial. Um, I'm, I'm just uh, an open book. I'm an open book. And uh, I, I think that transparency is uh, a great virtue, particularly in the times that we're living in. People not need to know that that we, the body of Christ, are just that. And for some time now, uh, some years ago, I can't remember how long ago it's been, but been sometime early in my ministry, um, in my pastoring ministry, and God said, Wilbur, simplify your life. Simplify your life. I said, God, what does that mean? And God said, be single-minded, single-hearted toward me. And that's my that's my whole accountability. You know, I'm I'm very simple, uh, and yet there's a complexity to all of our lives that we have to work that out with God. Mm -hmm. And been pastoring now for 29 years in the preaching ministry for 36 years, and 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 I've learned so much. You know, many people they call me Doctor Browning. And that's all fine and good. I do have an earned doctorate from from uh, Beeson uh, Divinity School. Uh, but I tell people the doctorate didn't make me smarter. Mm -hmm. It made me more disciplined. Wow. And what we need is discipline in our life, discipline toward the, 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 the things of God. And uh, I, I've, I've, my life has become so much more disciplined over these last seven years even. And if you ever come to the place where you stop growing in God, if you ever come to the place where you think you've, you've got it all figured out, then there's something wrong. There's something wrong in your life, and, and you're missing the mark. So I try to keep it on that, that simplicity line, that my, my conversations are every day with God. Uh, I, I keep my, my mind uh, focused on the things of God, hearing God. And every day that God wakes me up, I say, God, are me and you okay? Mm -hmm. I need to have that kind of communication between myself and the Lord. And I'm open to hear God, to listen to God. And in fact, child, just a, just a few weeks ago, the last few weeks, I've been preaching about uh, uh, enabling our, our blessings. And, hmm. and preaching from Deuteronomy 28. And, and there's two places there where you're either blessed or you're cursed. Mm -hmm. uh, God says, if you obey me, I will bless you. If you disobey me, I will curse you. Mm -hmm. God gives both blessings and curses. Mm -hmm. We oftentimes... Uh, blame the devil for a lot of stuff and God says if you obey me I will bless you many times we've got the understanding that to obey is stuff that we do stuff that we do but that word obey and that in that passage is the word Shema it means to hear it means to listen God says if you listen to me if you listen to my instructions, I will bless you. We don't, as a people, we don't spend enough time listening to God. We listen to a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. We listen to a lot of other instructions that come. We listen to the government. We listen to the experts. One thing we have not learned to do, particularly in these times, is listen to God. Listen to God. Because he is, he is our father. He is the creator. He is the one who blesses us. He's the one who curses us. You don't have to ask the question, why are all these things happening to me? Mm. 
Did you listen to God? Wow. Sometimes the things that are happening in your life that you think are adverse is God trying to redirect you to where he wants you to be at. Mm -hmm. And so. Wow. Let me say go, something. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, just last night, Tuesday night, last night, this young lady was saying we need to endeavor to listen. And I looked up the word endeavor. So it's just not just listening. It's like it's something hard you have to do. She said we need to endeavor to listen and watch. Exactly. Exactly. It is. It is. Listening to God is. He's, it's.